And I think that is exactly the reason why the market didn't heed to that. There was no reaction whatsoever to the numbers. 0.4% is due project. Mm-hmm. What it, of course, means. See, today we are at 4.5%. Right? Yeah. What it means is, uh, for the first two quarters, you must average 5.5. Okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, for that to happen, this quarter, first quarter, you must be around 5. Second quarter, you must go to 6. For you to average 5.5 in the first half. Mm-hmm. Then in the second half, you must be averaging 7.5. Yeah, which is very difficult. Which <laughs> is not going to happen, right? Yeah. So, that's exactly why, you know, I, I started uh, this discussion the same as this. Okay. So, uh, given the market that we are in, which are the pockets where you see strength emerging? No, it is, I, I don't see any strength emerging. It is strength retention. Okay? Mm-hmm. In the general pocket, see, agriculture, as I said, is monsoon where to be good. It's a top of the point. Then, if monsoon were to be good, then you will see some amount of rural consumption come back. So, it will be positive for the two-wheelers and all your, you know, consumer durables or, uh, for that matter, tractors and fertilizers, pesticides, the entire pocket. Okay. Within that space, I, I think more than sectors, what's important is even within the same, okay, some sectors are certainly avoid, like infrastructure and all. But even within the sectors that are doing well, uh, it's a function of picking up the, the best. Best leverage. Uh-huh. Best leverage. Which also happened to be the best. So there is no con- divergence in that. Mm-hmm. You were listening to P. Funny Sekar, Fund Manager, PMS Angel Broking, in conversation with Smart Investors, Jin C. Matthew, on the GDP growth numbers announced today. That's all in the update for now. Join us again for the next update due shortly.